So what I've done is I've collected a little bit here of people that have used this course and what they got. We trained 12,000 people at Google, and they brought in an extra $6 billion for the company. So this is not just theoretical. A Microsoft best annual return on investment. Abu Dhabi Commercial Bank, $223 million in 90 days after a workshop. Better customers, better deals, better rates. Asbury Park Press, a newspaper, more than $200 million in three months. I was able to solve the writer's strike in Hollywood in 2008 uh, after a half an hour when they were fighting for a year. Bolivia, as I mentioned, bananas in the jungle, and finally, most important thing on this list for my money, four-year-old brushes teeth and goes to bed. <clears throat> so let me spin out now three or four of the major slides that encompass this model and show you how it's different. <clears throat> there are two levels of intelligence on the cerebral cortex of the brain. The bottom level, and the less important, is called crystallized knowledge. It's the knowledge of experience. It enables you to do a little bit better than you did yesterday. In a fast-changing world, experience is less and less important. In many engineering disciplines in college, by the time someone is in their last year, 30% of what they learned as a freshman is obsolete. That's a very scary number. The upper level of intelligence, much more important, is called flexible knowledge. It enables you to take all those disparate pieces of information coming at you from around the world on deadline, risky, surprising, recognize them, organize them, and use them for problem solving. It is the level of problem solving, and from where we sit now is the key success factor for this century, and it is why, more than ever before, people in their 20s with less life experience than their seniors can make a billion dollars because they have flexible knowledge. This model is about flexible knowledge. Your ability to recognize, organize, and problem solve with new and surprising information coming at you at ever increasing rates in an increasingly competitive world. What kind of knowledge? Well, largely, it's knowledge about people. Most people think the negotiation is about this little blue triangle up here. 